Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you how to do LumaFade transition effect fast. We're gonna prepare this effect a bit different in edit page and one in color page in DaVinci Resolve 70. This video will go step by step through the process of making. Let's jump into edit page. Welcome back to DaVinci Resolve 17 and currently we are in the edit page. So today we're gonna do LumaFade transition. You will see that it can be done very fast and easy to do. To do. So let's start it. Let's go to Media Pool. Let's drag some clips onto our timeline. So let's shorten a bit both of them. So like this, yeah, almost the same. So yeah, like this. So first thing first, you can see that both of the clips are, uh, they are shot outside. So one is where the kids is playing on the other, other one is uh, the lady who is walking in the field of wheat. So first thing that we need to do, you can see that the green here is much more uh, intensive there here than here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to color page and we're gonna match both clips. So let's go to clips, you can see on the top here. So just click this one and go to other one, press control and click, right click to shot match to this clip. So just press it and you will see that the green color is uh, more intense here now than before. So let's go back to edit play, uh, page and let's check both clips. Yeah, much better. So let's go to effect library and go to cross the solve, but not this one. So if we go and put cross dissolve on, on these clips, so let's try it. So we can't go to fusion page. So we have the option convert to fusion cross dissolve, but so we can't open in, in fusion page. So let's delete that one and let's go to another one so fusion transition so if we choose that one so and put it on the clips right click on it and you can see open in fusion page let's open in fusion page that clip and you can see all the notes there here so cross dissolve is a group so the the first thing that uh, we can do is ungroup all so we have now one uh, note here. So the next step is to go directly to uh, dissolve tools. Uh, in operation, just choose a road and you can see that we already have the results here. So let's go back to edit page and we're gonna choose playback here just to see uh, Brand cash, just put it on smart, and we're gonna close that one and play through just to see what kind. Yeah, you can see the Luma effect is really.
quite quite good so luma fade transition easy and let's go again i will just press ctrl f to see full screen and you can also see the green color is better than before so uh, yeah that's it uh, for this uh, effect so you can see that uh, it, it can be done very fast and easy but one thing more we can save the effect so let's go and uh, effect and save this effect so let's go right click and uh, create transition uh, preset so let's open this and go uh, luma fade and go okay so and you can check immediately so go to effect library and you can see here user and you can see luma fade effect ready to use so if it if we de delete that one so we can put this one in so we can shorten or longer version of this effect whatever we want so let's play play through it and you will see that we can use this effect also to some other uh, project in some other projects so that's it uh, that's not it for today so we're gonna uh, look another effect but uh, uh, we're gonna prepare it in a color page so let's import some media and we're gonna put this one and this one so next thing is just press alt click it on it and backspace that we get rid of it this uh, uh, audio file and we, we're gonna shorten as well those two so what we're gonna do now we're gonna push to layer 2 layer audio uh, video layer 2 one of them and other one will be uh, like uh, beneath but not full covered just a part of it so let's go to color page you can see here that uh, we have almost the same uh, thing than before so let's co co color match both of those uh, clips so highlight this one press control and click on that one so press right click and shot match to this clip so you saw that uh, clip has already matched to the first one so what we're gonna do we're gonna open timeline as well and you can see here this is the first two clips timeline for them from them and this is uh, the second pair of them so be sure that you highlight the the uh, layer 2 video layer 2 and we're gonna put our play hat on the top and we're gonna decide it where to start with this effect so we have to open also notes and we're gonna put another note just press press alt and s and next thing is right click and add alpha output connect to one with another and now what we're gonna do we're gonna go directly to keyframes and we're gonna go with corrected too so it's second note so we're gonna press this uh, diamond here and uh, we will go to luminance and we're gonna put the high soft and we're gonna put like 12 it can be like 15 or 20 it depends on the on the video that we have uh, press enter you saw that we already have uh, keyframes here so what we're gonna do now we're gonna push like a couple of frames ahead uh, and we're gonna leave it here and now we're gonna grab this side right hand side so the the uh, highlights or let's say uh, and push it down until you saw the other pictures without any shadows and everything so now we have notes here that uh, let's extend this so just press this one extend this uh, keyframing here and if you want to 
uh, let's play first just to see what we have done okay and boom yeah maybe it's for someone this effect is too long let's see it in edit page uh, let's close this one go back to full screen and play it through it looks really nice so if you want to you you can go back to color page uh, you you can uh, highlight both of them and you can shorten the effect and you can play it through as well you can see that the effect is much faster than before I like it uh, I like it a little bit longer so anyway uh, this is it so let's go back and see what have we done with this one and let's go control F play and we're gonna see the end result for this effect so you saw that both of those effects that we have prepared for today they are really easy to to make and uh, uh, if you have any questions or some ideas what to prepare next time just let me know down in comments that's all for today thank you for joining me uh, and see you next time how was it did you find it easy or difficult to make let me know in the comments below if you found this tutorial helpful please do not hesitate to hit that thumbs up and don't forget to share should you like to see more tutorials like this make sure to subscribe to the channel have a great week till the next tutorial have a good one